Greetings, Krapcha here, and this is Raid Shadow Legends 3 to play challenge for 2024. Uh, challenge is powered by Hell Hades crew. Yeah, I'm a member of Team Scratch, and currently uh, we are on day 36 or 35, technically. Okay, um, so fusion is uh, ongoing. Mm, let's check uh, the status. So currently, in terms of fragments, I've already collected 55 uh, fragments for White Queen uh, Ankora. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so what else uh, in terms of plan, what's missing? Um, yeah, so big uh, summon rush is uh, ahead, so I will be pulling some shards today. Um, and today we have um, double chances for ancients shards, so uh, I'm aiming here to get some epics, even legendary for the points, uh, because today uh, just started new tournament, and this is a champion chase tournament. And here, uh, after reaching uh, 3600 and and 50 points uh, you will get uh, additional 15 points so that that's so what's the plan for today try to get this if possible uh, what else dragon tournaments currently ongoing so I'm almost done with it I'm missing a little bit more points to get additional five fragments so what I am almost 2000 point so a little bit more energy here and in terms of events, so artifact enhancement already completed. Yeah, this took a lot of silver, but that's fine. Upgraded a lot of uh, artifacts. And also lover's path is ongoing. So I s when I was running uh, dun dungeons, uh, in turn, I think, yeah, that's dragon. So I've already collected some uh, points here. So I'm going down, trying to get those additional five and 10 fragments. Yeah, so that's another fragment. And what we, uh, in the future, would will will we'll miss uh, to get uh, fully 100 uh, per, um, fragments. Uh, for the fusion, we'll need to complete additional artifact enhancement and uh, arena tournament. If possible, I'm trying to skip uh, Ice Golem. So let's quickly check uh, before the summoning what I'm missing. Uh, so that's my current uh, view of the champs. So Ratalos, he's built pretty uh, tanky, I would say because I gave him a lot of uh, HP and defense because he's my clan boss uh, damage dealer but uh, because yeah, I don't have a, a lot of protection so I had to build him a little bit tanky he's decently speed, uh, good crit rate, good crit damage and he's also in lifesteal uh, gear I was lucky to get uh, for him two accessories from Ratalos set even amulet with crit damage, which is decent, and also defensive banner. But unfortunately, without no no speed, but defense is pretty uh, big here. Okay, so besides that, I've got uh, from the Sacred Order uh, Deacon and Atoll. Unfortunately, both of them don't have a banner. <laughs> I cannot farm. I didn't get any banner. Uh, for them from the spider so far, so unlucky here, so uh, they are without banner, but banner with speed will help a lot, uh, they will be much better. Uh, so here is Blower, my campaign farmer so far, so I switched him from the stun set to just speed up the farming, and also I'm using him in the spider uh, dungeon to, to farm. Um, yeah, so uh, Toragi, big champ for the clan boss, Demon Lord, so he's doing pretty good. And also Coffin Smasher, uh, so he's very good, uh, he has very good syn uh, synergy with Ratalos. 
he's decreasing attack and putting the HP burn, which is very good um, for Retalos to enable his passive. Yeah, this one. More damage, less damage. That's perfect. Okay, uh, so that's my current status. So what I'm missing? I'm missing uh, something good in terms of uh, Termiter manipulation, so Allure uh, or uh, Geomancer. And I would like to get some kind of very good Poisoner, because from the Poisoner point of view I only got Toragi, uh, which uh, he's doing only Poison on his passive, 50% in 50, 50 chance, whatever, yeah, so that's not the best, so uh, that's problem here, because uh, now <clears throat> I'm struggling with Dragon a little bit, so as a Team Scratch, um, member so i was uh, chosen to uh, deal with the dragon so far i managed to get to uh, stage 19 uh, but yeah that's that's tough uh, i tried 20 uh, it's not possible <laughs> uh, th those uh, waves are uh, hitting too much and too hard and that's that so that's the problem but 16 uh, i'm farming 16 so that, that's fine Okay, so let's start with getting some points. Um, so first, uh, start with using uh, Relic Keeper. I've got everything prepared, so let's go. So Fusion Relic Keeper, we got Justiciar, Executioner, Templar and Sorceress. I think I've got Silver, okay. So Relic Keeper is here. So this will be like 250 points for the tournament, that's good. So as a, as a free to play I need to remain, remind that so you want to do things at the proper time to get the most of it. Okay, so more, more uh, energy is coming in my direction, that's good, it will help uh, with those uh, tournaments. Yeah, and more gems, that's good, oh, that's good. Very, very a lot of gems is coming. Okay, so now uh, 250, so I need a little bit more. <clears throat> so let's start with a few uh, single pulls. Four, generally four. And let's see what we will have. Okay, starting with Epic, strong, Vergis. So he is from El Elf, High Elf faction. Reflect damage, okay. Continuous heal, increase speed. A lot of buffs. That's that's okay. That's interesting. And interesting passive. Okay, so first time I see this guy on my account, so that's good. <laughs> Let's check what else we can have here. Also, I'm looking for apothecary. I don't have apothecary. I don't have uh, Rosen Banshee. So those two pulls will be huge. Okay, another epic. Daiti, Mystery Daiti, I think. Yeah, oh, okay, Hell Hades is using this jump. Uh, I, thi I think, yeah, and he's uh, pretty good. So this uh, this is decrease AOE decrease defense jump with some kind of uh, extra turn mechanic. And yeah, that's fine, so it will be helping a lot of my probably uh, faction wars, but because uh, for the def defense down, I already have Deacon, but yeah, he's different affinity. Yeah, so it will be good to have versatility in this debuff with the different affinity. So Castigator, nothing interesting. Okay, with 30 more. Okay, now let's go with uh, 10 pulls and see what we can get. Uh, there is also targeted champion boost, so let's check. Ah, this is this new uh, legendary with uh, interesting uh, aura for the Bunny Lords. So let's check if we are lucky or not. 314, that's not a lot. So one more epic. So Captain Timila. Uh, he is from the Dark Elves, and as I remember, yeah, this is Ally Protection, jump. 
increase defense. This is ally protection of four turn cooldown. That's not good <laughs> at all. In terms of rares, only quarter got him. Yeah, nothing. Uh, Tolok got him. Valerie. Yeah, so nothing amazing here. Let's run another ten. Okay, one more epic. So that's not good. Not a lot of points. Um, what do we see here? Missionary is he good? HP base stun on A1. Uh, one target uh, provoke. Uh, it doesn't look promising from the sacred order. Okay, besides that, um, in terms of rares, I don't see anything interesting. Okay, last uh, temple. Okay, blue tax. That's not good. Petrifia, okay. I don't have her. And still no frozen banshee and apothecary. That's sad. Okay, besides that, Odashi, I have him. Marquis, good for faction wars. Prosecutor can be useful. Okay, so that's all my ancient shards. So three epics, not the best one. So let's check my points. Where I am and how, how much more uh, missing. So oh, Arena uh, will start in one day. Okay, that's a lot of points still to go. Where I'm at, close to thousand. Okay, so still two two more thousand points that's a lot that's a lot of points well, let's see okay but i have few more shards to open yeah so let's start with the voids from the voids yeah so for sure uh, cold heart let's see any luck okay vanguard not the best one oh Decrease defense, provoke. Yeah. Let's go. Cold heart, please come. <laughs> we got day worker. For sure, mo most of them can be used in the faction wars. Another bellower. That's good. That's very decent pool. So I can have one bellower as a campaign farmer and second as a. Uh, st in stun set. That's good. What else? Okay, I already got this guy. Anything else interesting? Renegade. Oh, she's good. This, uh, she's resetting the cooldowns, so that could be potentially useful. Um, gear grinder. I think he's a reviver in the Ogryn tribe faction, so could be useful. And the last void, so no epics, that's not good. Ragemonger. Not a lot, not a lot of luck. And we have here, okay, um, primal shard, let's go. We need points. I was thinking that it is it was it will be mythical. <laughs> but unfortunately not. Okay, uh, and two more sacred. So yeah, let me let me check once again. Um, so what I'm planning to do be, uh, in terms if I will be short on the points, uh, I will be preparing also uh, my guys for uh, their Broadma. So I've got already two rares, so let's let's summon them. So that will be additional points. I think 50 is for the rare, yes, that's good. And additional points here. That's good, additional points. And let's check uh, the current situation. 
that doesn't look good so far. Um, still haven't reached 2000 points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got almost, uh, we got 2000 points, but 2150, that's what is needed here. It will be hard to get to the uh, top two uh, places uh, to get those additional fragments, so yeah, that's probably impossible with the amount of shards that I currently have. <coughs> but we'll tr let's try. Okay, now two sacred, so for sure that will be epic, so 250 per each. But if we get legendary, then okay, that's 500 points. Okay, a school lord. Interesting. Heal reduction to time hitter. Yeah, but we cannot use uh, legendaries on this, those accounts. But after um, challenge will be done, probably uh, I could use him if I put him to the vault. Uh, decrease attack and strengthen. Okay. So that's 500 points. Let's check, check what else. And epic. Okay, Kalan, this is dupe. I already have him. Interesting. Okay, so I'm out of shards. <clears throat> so let's check the current situation and let's calculate the points. If it's possible or not. Okay, so not reach 3000 uh, 3, points yet, so 2,760, uh, uh, okay, so that's the number, so missing less than uh, 1000, oh, that's a lot, that's a lot of points, okay, so I need to calculate uh, how much can I get points here so for sure some mr shards I also get some gems and maybe that will be a good idea to buy a pack of the ancient shards to summon them yeah so maybe that will be the the the, the play here uh, in terms of yeah, fusion so for broadma i only missing this little elf which is farmable in the campaign and so that will be 50 and 50, so 100 points. And for Broadma is because he's an uh, Void Epic, 350. So it will be almost 500 points. And I'm missing 1000. So yeah, I think I need to buy a pack of uh, shards. Okay, so let me put some rares to the vault to get some space okay still got silver okay let's buy it so okay only mystery <laughs> and gem pack let's go still got almost 700 uh, gems so that's good we need to <coughs> use it as energy and in missions, a lot of uh, gems is coming, so uh, it should be good. Okay, let's go. So one more shard here as a single pool. Okay, so Marauder. And then, then pool. Okay, let's see. Whoa, yes. 1,800 points, so it means you got legendary. Whoa, two legendaries. Progni. Wow, that's crazy. And three epics, so that was a good decision. Whoa, I'm again speechless. <laughs> that's good. What does it mean? What does it mean? Let's check points quickly. That was big turnaround. I would say yes so I reached uh, the limit that's great 
that's good news. It means that fusion for me is still possible. And currently I'm second, so I can get another five fragments. But the, the, the tournament is still ongoing. So I could try even to do Broadma and try even some kind of sniping uh, strategy to get additional uh, fragments so I can skip something. But uh, it will be like in three days. Okay. That's good. Whoa, that saved my fusion. Uh, yeah. What I can say. Uh, so great. So maybe let's quickly review uh, those two champs. So <laughs> three legendaries. I think I will be using it after the challenge will finish because uh, I don't have them even on my main account. And I heard that Brogni is very good. Yeah, uh, HP burn on A1. Uh, the, uh, removing debuffs, uh, but yeah, buffs from all enemies, and placing a shield. So he's good for Hydras, I heard. Yeah, so that's that's great. And Croc, um, attack all attack is critical. Okay, so build him with crit. Um, attack all enemies, place a shield. Equal the damage inflicted. Also heal this champion. Okay, increase crit rate, increase crit damage, buff on allies, then get extra turn. Okay, sure this is good for damage dealers, but on low uh, turn cooldowns, so maybe some arena play here. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, so that was a huge pull. And school lord, I see this guy a lot of... <laughs> In the con uh, in the waves in the content, uh, he's doing this uh, destroy enemy. Uh, yeah, destroy attacker max HP by per five percent. Aha, and he's uh, working with sc uh, school worms, so he's reviving them. Interesting. Okay, so almost forget about one more thing uh, because there is this additional uh, summon pool and uh, we got this additional uh, 30 uh, prism shards so let's go with this one if this will give me more points let's check and epic warcaster interesting this is uh, Void epic with block damage, which is good. It's a good move to the uh, clone boss unkillable, but uh, he cannot do this by himself. Yeah, so that will be a good idea in the future to, to try to build uh, such a composition. And maybe let's quickly uh, check other epics that I uh, pulled. Uh, so we got Sinesha. Um, she's um, A1, so this is damage dealer, as I see. Uh, very good. Uh, heal on A2 and uh, HP equalization on all allies. Okay, we got also Melga. So Melga is a reviver from the um, dungeon, uh, dwarf uh, cre uh, faction. I think that will be all for today, so thank you for uh, watching, uh, I hope you like it, so please consider hitting the like and subscribe. Wish me luck with the fusion and see you in the next one. Cheers!